I know you are seriously preparing for the 2023 BC exams. Here are some mathematics questions, BC style mathematics questions that can help you pass this year's exams. So we are going to solve these questions. So with this first one, you have to convert these numbers to improper fraction. So 6 times 3 will give you 18 plus 1 which is 19 over 3. 2 times 6 will give you 12 plus 5, will give you 17 over 6. Then 3 times 8 will give you 24 plus 5, will give you 29 over 8. So we find the LCM of 3, 6, and 8, which is 24. Now 3 goes into 24 how many times? 8 times so you have to multiply the 8 by 19 now recall that if it were 20 8 times 20 will be equal to 160 so for you to get 8 times 19 just subtract one of the 8 from the 160 so that will give you 152 so you can also work it this way 19 times 8 then you get the 152 so this one is 152 minus now 6 goes into 24 how many times 4 times so 4 times 17 4 7 is 28 so write 8 remainder 2 carry 2 so 4 1 4 plus 2 is 68 so minus 68 then plus 8 times 8 goes into 24 how many times 3 times then 3 times 29 3 times 29 you know if it were 3 times 30 it would have been 90 we are left with only 1 9 to, from 29 to 30 so we subtract that 9 to get 29 times 3 to be 90 minus 9 is 90 minus 3 is 87 so you can also do it step by step to get 87 here so we have 152 um, plus uh, 60 plus 87 that will give us 9 8 plus 5 is 13 so 3 and when the 1 plus 2 is plus 1 is 2 so we have 2 3 9 then we have to subtract the 68 from it 68 so 9 minus 8 is 1 then 23 minus 6 is 17 so we have 171 over 24. Okay, so we have to simplify this further. So we know 3 can go into 171 and go into 24. Because 3 times 57 will give you 171. And 3 times 24, 3 times Eight will give you 24 so this will cancel this we have 57 over 8 now we have to write this as a mixed number we know 8 7 is 56 so it means 8 will go into 57 7 times we are left with 1 remainder remainder 1 over 8 so the correct answer is 7 whole number 1 over 8 Look at the B part. The area of a trapezium is 31 cm squared. If the parallel sides are of length 8.7 cm and 3.7 cm, calculate the perpendicular distance between them. So we know trapezium is like this, something like this. Um, mm -hmm. Something like that. Then we're told that 
you know, this is perpendicular height, and we're told that the size are um, um, 8.7, and let's say this is a 3.7. Um, so we recall that area of a trapezium is given by area of trapezium area of trapezium is equal to half times the height perpendicular perpendicular height times sum of the parallel size mm, sum of the parallel size so half times perpendicular height now we're given that the area is 31 so we have 31 centimeters squared is equal to 1 over 2 times the h so the h is what we don't know so we write it then we have 3.7 plus the 8.7 mm. so we need to simplify this so let's add 3.7 and 8.7 and that will give us 12.4 so 3.7 plus 8.7 will give us 12.4 so we have half times h times 12.4 is equal to 31 centimeters squared so that you, uh, this one to is in centimeters squared, so they will cancel out. Now half of half of twelve point four will be six point two. So we have six point two h is equal to thirty one. So h will be equal to thirty one over six point two. So 31 divided by 6.2, that should give us what? So let us now change the 6.2 to, let's say, decimal. So we are going to get h to be equal to, um, okay, let's do it like this. Yeah, change to decimal. So it will be 31 over... 62 over 10 so this is the same as this is the same as 31 divided by 62 over 10 so this is equal to 31 times 10 over 62 so 31 will go into 62 2 times 2 will go into 10 5 times so it is equal to 5 centimeters therefore the perpendicular distance between the basis or the length of the parallel size is five centimeters. Now let's look at this question here. We have to factorize p plus q into two x minus y minus x into p plus q. So, so already you can see that there's a common factor which is p plus q. So we collect it, factorize. So p plus q outside. Then we have we are left with 2x minus y here then we are left with minus x here so we group we regroup the terms so we have uh, this being equal to p plus q then if we come here we have 2x minus x remember that when we swap the positions we don't change the sign the sign remains the same so minus y minus y so 2x minus x give us x minus y then we have p plus q so the final answer is p plus q into x minus y thank you so much for joining us to solve these questions and in the next video we are going to talk about we are going to solve this question that is also likely to drop this year thank you so much for joining us i know your hard work will pay off and i'm wishing you all the best in your exams in advance.